Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are going to be reviewing a 50 amp 12 volt battery from Power Queen. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay. Okay, as soon as you open it, it uh, has a bunch of information. Uh, first, we have an operator's guide for beginners. Uh, it does say notice before use. Carefully read through the operation guide and the product manual before use. So you should read the product guide and then you unbox it. Oh wow, wearing insulated gloves for battery installation and wiring. Oh, that's, that's something I don't follow. Oh, okay. Well, the battery should be at uh, 30 to 50% capacity when it's received. So we'll test the voltage of it and then we will charge it up to 100% um, after that. And then it just has uh, your basic operating precautions, like don't touch the positive and negative, that causes a short, and make sure and use insulating tape when you're using wiring, that way all of your exposed wire is covered. And then it also has some more connecting precautions and some do's and don'ts about the battery. So, all right, and then it also has, uh, your user manual and I like how these batteries uh, they have this protective sleeve that that uh, holds the manual I just think that's kind of neat I think it's unneeded but I think it's neat and then the manual is uh, everything that you would ever want to know about the battery when you first open it up it tells you your terminal and post sizes which are uh, they're M8 bolts, so that's 1.25 millimeter thread. Uh, the length of the bolt is 16 millimeters. Um, the battery itself is a 12 volt. Uh, it's actually a nominal voltage of 12.8 volts at 50 amp hours. So it's a, it's a very small battery. Uh, the dimensions are 7.79 inches uh, in length by uh, 6.53 inches in width. And the height is 6.69 inches. Uh, it is made out of plastic. The operating voltage, like I said before, has a nominal voltage of 12.8 volts. The charging voltage, you want to charge this thing all the way up to 14.4, give or take 0.2 volts. Uh, the maximum continuous load is 640 watts, so that is 50 amp hours. Uh, and then the maximum continuous charging and discharging current, like it says, is 50 amp hours. And then the manual just goes through how to connect it up. Uh, how to estimate the battery capacity, your charging methods, your inverter settings. It kind of goes, it shows you the difference between a lithium iron phosphate battery charging mode and a lead acid charging mode. Uh, here's your settings for your solar charge controllers. So this, uh, this manual does go through a lot of information about this battery. It shows that you can connect four of them in series to make a 48 volt 50 amp hour battery. You can also connect four of them in parallel, so that would make a 12 volt, 200 amp hour battery. If you had eight of these, you could connect up a 48 volt, 100 amp hour battery. So there's the manual. Okay, there's a sticker here that says, hi, here are your post bolts, tear me off. So that's what I like about this battery, is it's very beginner friendly, it, it doesn't, it doesn't have, it doesn't leave you questioning like what an item is. What? And there's our bolts, so go ahead and hold that. And then we take it off and here is the battery. Nice. And it's nice that it's got this uh, styrofoam, this styrofoam encasement, so it's very well protected. And it's in this bag. And here we are. Daddy? Yeah. Um, uh, is there any hook to like pull this up, like go, that goes up and like you can pull it? Or is it just like this? Yeah, it's see, you see how it, it's actually pretty light. So we don't need like a strap or something to like a, a carrying handle. We just can pick it up just like this. Okay, so here's what the battery looks like when you first get it. 
And I just wanted to mention that the battery is 11.57 pounds. So it is very light for, for 50 amp hours of full use. You gotta remember that a lead acid battery where you could get 50 amp hours of use, that would weigh, I mean, that would weigh, you know, triple this, so. But here's what the battery looks like. It has a couple of uh, terminal covers, which are nice, I like these. There we go. Um, and then, okay, here's the front, and it just basically tells you the very basics about the battery. Power Queen, lithium iron phosphate, for 12.8 volt, 50 amp hour, lithium iron phosphate, deep cycle battery. Deep cycle batteries, you never want to use those as starter batteries because that will not work. So don't put this in your car. And then here is the website, ipowerqueen.com. The sides have nothing. And then the back basically is the same information except for all your protections. Um, and warnings saying uh, it's recyclable, do not put it in a fire, do not throw it away. Um, made in China, the company that makes it, um, 640 watt hours. And also if you want to email them, you can email them at service at ipowerqueen.com. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna do right out of the box is we're gonna check the voltage of the battery to see, uh, to make sure that it works actually. Uh, we're hoping that the, the voltage will be right around 13.1, 13.2, something like that. So let's take these covers off, put our meter on voltage DC, okay? And you just touch the negative to the negative, the positive to the positive. And we are getting 13.17. So that is exactly where you want your battery when you first receive it, when it comes to lithium iron phosphate. So in the instructions, it says the next thing that you should do is charge it up. And, um, and it does say that it has a continuous charge and discharge capacity of 50 amps. So we can use a charger up to 50 amps. So we'll go ahead and just use a 30 amp charger to get this thing up to 100%. All right, I'm just opening up the uh, the little baggie that has the, the bolts in it. And it looks like it's always nice. They can't, it comes with um, two sets of bolts and, and post covers. So I like that. I like the, the fact that they include post covers and they include a second set of, of bolts as well. Okay, you wanna screw this one on? There you go. And we're just gonna screw them down all the way. Okay, we got our battery on our 30 amp charger, so we're gonna go ahead and charge it up and then we'll do a discharge test. Okay, we've got the battery connected to the, uh, to the ZKE battery tester. And let's go ahead and uh, set up our test on the tester. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, uh, a cycle test and we're gonna say settings. Okay, we'll say add. Okay, and then <clears throat> those are set. You can see over here now that they are in our, in our parameter settings. So now we can go ahead and start the test. We'll click here and we can see that we are charging at five amps and the battery is at 13.48. So this will charge it up to 14.6. It'll wait a minute and then it will discharge it down to 10 volts and hopefully that will shut the battery off in the BMS as well. We'll come back after this uh, test is done. All right, everyone. Well, it is the next morning <clears throat> and um, the battery capacity test is done, so let's go ahead and check it out on the screen. All right. All right, and down here in the lower, uh, lower part of the screen, you can see that the capacity says 51.16 amp hours. So uh, this, this 50 amp uh, Power Queen battery did pass the capacity test with flying colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and charge this thing back up and I'm going to kind of show you like a real world uh, 
reason why this battery would be a good choice. Okay, so some people say, all right, that 50 amp battery, it's fine and dandy, you know, but can you really use it in a real situation? Like, I mean, why would you use such a small battery? Well, first of all, this battery is small. It's only 12 pounds. You could easily move it around and uh, put it in your car, put it in the back of your camper, you know, and, it, and you can easily just pick it up and put it into your campsite with no problem. And then there's also people that are saying like, oh, but you know, you can only power like 600 watts with it. You know, what's the point? I mean, you have to realize what all you can do with five or 600 watts. So let me just turn on some lights. And if you're using DC power, uh, you're saving a lot from efficiency standpoints because you're not doing that conversion. I mean, so I have a couple of DC lights plugged into a 500 watt inverter that has USB uh, outputs on it. And all of a sudden I have light here. And if it's, a, if it's a warm day, I've got a fan up here. And now I've got this fan blowing on me. Um, and it's, and, and I'm only using probably 10 watts with this setup right here. You could run this for, you know, well throughout your camping trip if you're just, you know, going out for, going out for the day. Cause it means, you gotta think 10 watts and this is a 640 watt battery. Uh, I'm sorry, it's a 640 watt hour battery. So you could run it for potentially 60 hours with these two lights and this fan. And I mean, that is, that's your whole, that, that's your whole weekend. But if you wanted more, you could do it. Like, let's just say, you know, that you want to run a little personal heater for like an hour. You know, if you just have a little power bar like this, this is a little 200 watt heater. And there we go. And now this is on. But let's say you have like a bunch of bugs, like you got mosquitoes and you got bugs all over the place. How about you bring a bug zapper? We got a bug zapper here. And I wanna say this bug zapper probably runs at maybe 50 watts. Let's go ahead and plug it in, start using it. There we go, here's our bug zapper. Uh, okay, but what if you're trying to get your tent set up and you wanna blow up your big inflatable mattress that you have? You know what, well, I have an AC powered uh, inflator right here. So I'll plug that in. All right, so you can see that with just a little small 50 amp battery that can power 600 watts, and this is a 500 watt pure sine wave inverter, it can run all of this stuff all at the same time. Now granted, it is only 50 amp hours, so you're not gonna be able to run this heater all night. It's only gonna run for two, maybe three hours. Um, but the point is that this little small battery can do it. Because I would say that if you were just gonna go camping, you are really concerned about lighting and maybe a fan. And if you put things together correctly, this little 50 amp battery and a 500 watt inverter can power those things for your whole weekend tramping, camping trip. And not to mention that this little Power Queen battery, it has up to 4,000 cycles. So that's 10 years of using it, you know, powering it to 100%, charging it to 100%, and, you know, using it all the way down to zero. And it also has a five year warranty. So if anything goes wrong, you can just contact the company and you probably get another one for free. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.